Well, hello. So today we're going to talk about friendship and losing friendship and how we lose friends. One of the main ways how we lose friends is by being self-involved, by not seeing all the clues around us. And sometimes our friends are shy and they don't give us clues that there are things that we need to change in our lives to the point where what we bring to the table is more damaging to the person than what uh, we are offering. So then the friendship itself. So the person decides that they no longer want to be friends with you. And I've had that happen several times because I'm a big personality and I'm a lot to handle. I know I recognize that about myself. And um, as I mature, as I grow into a better human being, constantly, every day, striving to just be better and help, I see my growth as a person. So I go back in assessment of who I am as a person. And, I, and, and the universe opens its doors and says, yes, I believe you're ready. So I make an effort in that avenue. And one particular person, and I think that this video is more geared to this particular person, is one of the most wonderful friends I've ever had. He is an absolute joy. He, he is extremely giving. And I think one of his difficulties is that he's very beautiful. And people recognize that. And I think a lot of the times people see so much of that physical beauty that they don't see the person that's inside. And that's really painful on various different levels because the person that's inside is an amazing world of creativity, imagination, a deep discussion, education, uh, a desire to learn. Uh, just so many different elements about this person that are just beyond the comprehension that people could see by just looking at him and, and what he looks like. So also, and this happens with people and children and, and the media and everything where someone is attractive, so they see a power in that and they see the ability of that being being attractive to attract other people so they utilize that person in order to get what they want um, and I'm not quite sure to what degree this was it's often done with to attractive people but I'm not sure to what degree this was done to my friend but I know to a certain degree it was and I think in a lot of ways I kind of played into it too and uh, I personally fell into that trap, you know, of who he knew that I was able to receive from as well, instead of just taking a moment and see and, and helping to grow and, and be a cheerleader to the wonderful world that was blossoming as I was friends with this person. So as I go back and I look at the times that I've spent with this person. It just brings me with so much joy. And I know that the universe is calling me to make an effort to step outside of my ego. And I wasn't thinking about this person. This person had kind of moved away from my thought. They're always in my thought, but they had moved away in my thought. And I thought to myself, if I make an effort, I'm going to, I might be humiliated to the degree of like, you're not worth my time. So why would you even leave a note on my doorstep? But I did. Because that's the person I am. Because it isn't about me. It's about the message and it's about the soul connection on a grander scale. And the importance that this person plays in the whole scheme of everything. So that's what I'm dealing with right now. And I love it. I accept it. It's a challenge. It's scary. It's always scary to recognize that you were not the good person and to go back and say, I wasn't, and to explain as to how you weren't and to ask for forgiveness, not just for yourself, 
but what worlds can be revealed in the unity that we are as people. And it happens with everyone. It happens with families. It happens with the people that we love the most because that's the illusion. <laughs> you know, it's funny to a strange kind of traumatic way that, you know, the people that we love the most, we have those intense, and if we can get past them, we can become a better people. And I think as a society, with the trauma of what has happened to America with the presidency and, and just this barrage of just punches and that it feels against our society and humanity, we are suffering, or maybe and on top of that, the spiritual awakening of the age of Aquarius, we're just in this strange, all gas, weird thing. But the universe is calling us together to become unified and to create love you know, and to create unification and understanding between all human beings, regardless of to what degree it may be. So that was my, and I, sometimes I think it calls you on a grander scale, and sometimes it just calls you on a small scale to kind of lo diminish yourself and say, I am not who I thought I was, and I am sorry for the things that I did because of the third person that I thought I was. Um, so... That's what I think. It's, it's a strange dance between personal choice and having negative energies whisper into your ear and pushing you in that direction. That's Again, that's why it's important to have positive ears, angelic ears at your side and build a community of people that will help elevate you as a human being. What do you think? Do you agree? Do you disagree? I miss you, bro. I do. Either way, have a wonderful, wonderful, wonderful eternity.